Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a spirit message for July 2018. This is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a spirit message, past, present, pre past, present and future. We're just going to see whatever comes up, okay? Whatever comes up. These will all be upright because these are, it's just the way it is with these cards, okay? I don't know why I'm flipping them. I'm so used to flipping cards. So just, even if I flip, they're going to be all upright. Um, now I go right back to my regular readings after. This is just like a special edition for July. And I don't know if you guys have noticed for Taurus, I have uploaded your six month preview um, on Vimeo and I will put the link below. This is for the sign of Taurus. Past, present, future. Let me just make sure that this is zoomed in. All right, so it looks like in the recent past, you guys have been feeling pretty content at home. You've been feeling happy, um, successful. Uh, you know, there's been good communication. You are are speaking up. It, it feels like if you've got anything to say, it, it, it's not being held back. That's for darn sure because we have the throat chakra with the ace of swords. So it looks like there is some sort of um, clarity that has been received that has brought you some sort of happiness, Taurus. Um, maybe you received some communication that... Um, you needed to hear to make you feel content, whatever this is. It feels as though um, you're feeling pretty, you were, you have been feeling pretty happy with where you're at. Okay. Really open minded and it just in your own, in your own power, feeling really comfortable. Okay. Um, saying and, and hearing and believing and knowing what, knowing what you, what you need to know, you know, things are clear. I see that things are coming through clearly and they are being expressed clearly. So that, that could bring on a level of happiness knowing that everything is right out on the table. Okay. So I feel as though, um, there is a feeling of, of happiness and bliss within your, within your life at this time, within yourself. You're just feeling really good. Um, presently, uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have that devil card right in the middle, okay? But it is represented by the sign of Capricorn. Or this could be you being tempted at this time um, by your desires. You know, you could be tempted to do something out of your character, you know, based on your own needs. But, you know, so you, you sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get by, right? Um, that solar plexus sh chakra is I can. I feel like your your self-esteem is probably um, growing at this time, okay? You know, you know that you can do whatever you want. Your confidence has grown. Your um, self-worth, your self-love. And that's why, that's one of the reasons that you are feeling happy because you're, there's a lot of self-love here. I feel like you guys have gained more confidence after some sort of suffering. You know, true suffering brings growth. So it feels as though at this time in July, you are probably vibrating at a, at a very high level and you're feeling very um, comfortable with who you are. And I think that because you're feeling so comfortable, you're probably doing things that are that are out of character for you because you're you haven't felt quite this comfortable in a while. It's like you guys have stepped into a new a new you. You know what I mean? It's like you're you're not the same person you used to be. You've evolved into something differently. Different. I sorry, I can't talk tonight. 
Um, it's There's some sort of heartache and loss. This is the Three of Swords down here that has, has um, brought you some true growth and taught you self-esteem and self-love and self-worth, okay? It feels as though you've went through some sort of heartache that, you know, you had to endure to gain this confidence, you know what I mean? So I feel like this month is a month of of having these unknown desires that are new to you, you know, they're new to you because you're you're not the same person that you used to be, which is, you know, and that's what happens when you step into a new a new you or a new consciousness per se. I feel as though you guys have received that clarity and um, that has allowed you to like step over the threshold, whatever that threshold is to you. I feel as though you have found this new um, power within yourself and it's very invigorating, okay? Um, I feel like in the, okay, so not, let's change the I feels, okay? I feels to I see. I see in the future that we have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So we know what the Ace of Cups is. The Ace of Cups is about love. It's the Ace of Love. It's a new opportunity for love in July, okay? Now, it feels as though you could be given a new opportunity or this could be a reconciliation. This uh, You could be receiving communication, perhaps it could be from a Capricorn in regards to love, or it could be from any other person. I'm just going this line up right here. It could be also somebody from your past, because now we have the Six of Cups. Now, I have to clarify somebody from the past, because I, did, I said it today in a reading, and somebody said, well, it could only be one of two people. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Somebody from the past doesn't mean that it is somebody that you slept with before. Okay? It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Okay? It could be somebody that you're just familiar with. That you were with in a past life. Okay? That you've known. It could be a familiar soul that you have a soul contract with. It could be somebody that you slept with. Or it could be somebody that you knew as a child. It could be somebody from your hometown. There is probably some communication coming in in regards to a law offer of love from somebody you have known before, okay? So be prepared um, to receive some sort of communication from somebody. And it could make you very, very, very happy after you've been feeling insecure for quite some time. I'm sorry, I have to take a drink. Um, it appears that... Um, you're probably having, and this could be a magnetic attraction, okay? It could with that with that devil card or temptation in the middle. If you think about the traditional tarot deck, you know, it's the two people that are chained together. You know, they're loosely chained, but they're chained. So that's like a that's like a magnetic attraction. So be beware because you're vibrating so highly. Your self esteem, your self confidence, you're feeling very powerful. You you know that you can do whatever you want. You know, because you're feeling that way, you are drawing people towards you. You know, when you're vibrating at that level, people are drawn to you. So I feel as though you have some sort of new opportunity coming in that could lead to success and happiness and love with somebody you have known before after a period of of insecurity okay now down here we had this is in the future we have financial and material changes you should be starting to come out of a difficult time that's what it looks like to me hopefully you're starting to come out of um, financial stress okay in the future that's what it looks like I am gonna get a clarifier for that card um, this is for July. I think there's going to be a new offer. There's going to be communication from somebody that you have known before in regards to how they feel about you. You know, if, you know, they may say, you know, whatever, that they, you know, that you're hot or you're sexy or you're looking good or something like that. Or, or they may say, you know, I've always had feelings for you. You know, I've always had these feelings that, uh... I cared about you, you know, and I wanted to see if you wanted to get together, you know, something like that could happen. It feels as though there, somebody could ask you to some sort of get together, okay, because this could be a gathering. 
So I feel as though this month is is receiving some sort of communication that that probably makes you really really happy and excited and this is an attraction that is is quite magnetic okay um yeah it's the end of difficulty as far as financial um stress goes you guys should be um it's the end. I think it's the end of financial stress. You should start be starting to feel more stable and secure in your financial arena. Okay, money should be starting to roll back in. It's the end of a difficult time. I want to get a um, right here. Receiving communication about a commitment, perhaps, or or from your family. What this is something to do with. security, stability, your legacy, your abundance. Abundance. And it is successful. Oh my God. You know, you guys could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, just saying you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And I think that you know, you are probably uh, receiving some sort of clarity in regards to perhaps a commitment with another person that you are definitely tied to, karmically tied to, okay? I think there is some sort of... But this doesn't have to be bad karma. I'm not sure that it is bad karma. I feel as though some truth is being revealed in regards to some sort of karmic... Maybe it's a legacy. It's a karmic contract or something like that. Some sort of bond. Long term, long solid bond. There's a bond here between you and another person. Somebody that you have known before. You're going to receive some sort of communication from somebody. It is a contract. It is some sort of contract. You know, there's an end of one contract that begins another. And that is interesting because the lover's card is the end of a contract. You know, and look at their book. There's, there's definitely some seduction here. There's definitely some sort of desires this month, okay? So there could be some... Um, some, uh, you know, they're, they're all naked. Okay. You just take a look at this. I mean, I mean, there's definitely some sort of, uh, whew, I'm trying to think of the right word, uh, sexual tension. Okay. Going on or a sexual attraction. Okay. That is happening this month that is undeniable. And I think that whatever is happening is is some kind of Whew. jeez I'm crow yeah you're gonna have to make a judgment call that's for damn sure there's definitely some karma here being playing out this month okay there's no doubt about it there's definitely some karma playing out this month for you you are going to have to make a judgment call in regards to whether you want to give this person a chance or not. You may have been with this person before for some of you. You may have been with this person or you definitely have some kind of karmic contract with them. And the contract could have ended and now it is coming back to the surface. Okay, just, just I have to tell you that. Um, now, this doesn't mean, still doesn't mean that you have slept with them before. Okay, because in this lifetime, you know, still doesn't mean that. I do see that there is a karmic contract that is coming into play this month. And it has it had ended at one time. It had ended or there was a lot of conflicts in that contract. Okay, there was a lot of, of, of um, disharmony per se. And it feels like it ended, the contract ended, you know, between you and this person. And now perhaps this person wants another chance. And they're very, you're, you are going to have to make the decision whether to give them another chance, whether you want to reconcile with this person or not. 
Um, I feel as though, I don't know if you will. You may, you may feel like you're, you're, you're scared. You're scared that to put any effort into this, whatever this is, because it's, it hurt so bad in the past. Whatever this is, it hurt really bad in the past. It didn't lead to wish fulfillment. And that is why the contract, that is why the contract broke up. That's why it's, there was a split. And now somebody wants another chance somebody wants to give it another round because there's still there's the, the contract you know even though where there was a split obviously the contract hasn't been fulfilled yet you know it's not over it's not over i feel as though you know you're going to get the chance to, to speak up you're going to get the chance to communicate there's going to be communication that is had between you and this karmic partner that you need to deal with okay so i feel like there's there's a magnetic attraction there's desires, there's temptation, and you might be tempted to, to go down that road. But I think that you're 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 probably really scared to go down that road. But there is there's a lot of memories there. There's a lot of memories, so there's an opportunity for a reconciliation. Now I don't know who this reconciliation is with. We do have Capricorn here a few times, okay? So we have a Capricorn, and we have we have a Gemini. Um, Let's see who else do we have oh gemini libra aquarius um and you're gonna have to make a decision you're gonna have to maybe on the fly you know you're gonna have to make a decision do you want to give this another whirl or not you know you you do you it's something you perhaps you've been waiting for maybe you've been waiting for this to happen and now now the ships are here now they're they're here they're at the dock what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Taurus? Somebody sees your beauty. They see your confidence. They see that you have regained your self-worth and your self-esteem, that you're vibrating very highly. You're looking good. And they're like, whoa, I want another chance. I want another world. What are you going to do? Now, this doesn't mean that it is the last partner you were with. I have to throw that out there because somebody's automatically going to think that it's that person. This could be somebody completely different because when the lover's card comes out, that's what I usually think. It's not who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. Okay, that's what I think. I feel as though... There is karma that needs to be dealt with in regards to a relationship that ended unhappily. So, Taurus, I feel like this month, you know, you're going to you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a, a difficult decision as to whether you want to give somebody another chance. You're you're going to have an opportunity to receive uh, the clarity that you need, you know, you're going to, you're going to have an opportunity to communicate with this person about, um, the past. Okay. The past is going to come out via communication. Okay. It is with the ace of swords and the throat chakra with the judgment card. The past is going to be discussed. It is with whoever this person is. Um, and there's an opportunity for a fresh new start here. So, Taurus, I feel like you have a, a really big decision to make in the month of July. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation or new love. This could be a new love connection coming in that you have a karmic contract from a past life with. Okay? Because there's, there's that Six of Cups. That Six of Cups could be either or. Okay? So there, is, there could be a new opportunity for love with somebody that you are very, very attracted to so much that you can barely walk away from. Whether it's a new love or an old love, this is somebody that you are going to be tempted by that you, you are so strongly connected to that you might not be able to say no. So keep that in mind. Uh, be prepared to make a decision, and it's probably going to be a heavy one, a heavy decision. Good luck. Scares me.